And we are live. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of You Know What? Let Me Just Say Podcast. I'm your host, Ray. With me, as always, we got Dion. Yo. We got Tony. I got to stay fly uh, uh, on your forehead. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh. Ooh. Are you there? I don't know. If, I don't know if I Did just he have disconnect? I don't, I don't know if he's having technical difficulties or not, but he's gonna try. Uh, gentlemen, how are we doing today? Good as we can be. I ain't well, got Rona. <laughs> that's good. Father, you there? Uh, can you read that? Can you hear me? Yo. Uh, is, Jits, it's funny. is Jitsi acting funny tonight or am I tripping? Why? Wow. Uh, just whatever happened to Father. Yeah, I, have, uh, I don't know. Jitsi is Jitsi. Hello? Yeah. Hello? 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 Yeah, I okay, can hear him. Oh, there he is. There he is. There God. He is. It's just never, yo. Know, the world is just fucking with you today, ain't they, Father? Yo, man. You know how long I've been trying to fix this shit. <laughs> man, well, I'm, I'm glad you're coming in. Um, did anybody y'all see the uh, MK Never DLC? I know Father did. Did any of y- uh, y'all seen that? I saw that Rambo, bro. That is some bullshit. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, that is. They're trying to out with the guest characters. I was hoping for Michael Myers, honestly, as a as another like guest character, since they were doing all like the horror movie shits before. Nah. (laughs) So you're not feeling the Rambo uh, cue. Hey, I know I'm pure bullshit, man. I am so mad <laughs> that they put Rambo on this fucking game. I mean, they brought Rain and Melina back, so you know somebody said, "You know, this is." I'm happy about <laughs> Rain. Shout out to Rain. I'm glad to see Melina again. Really, I'm happy for both Rain and Melina, but especially Melina. I think Melina's overrated. I, I keep saying this. I she's she's not a favorite, but you know. It, she's someone I do I do like yeah. fucking around with on Mortal Kombat. I don't know. I, just, I always thought she was overrated. But then again, I'm the same guy that complained that Lei Long wasn't in Tekken. So I'm pretty sure this is like the equivalent. I will say that. I mean, they brought him back as a DLC eventually. I just, I just hope, I hope Rambo doesn't fight slow like um, Jason did in the Mortal Kombat before that. Yeah, but it fit. It fitted him. It fitted yeah, his style. Mm-hmm. And plus, Jason being slow made sense. Yeah, but I like Jason slow. But it's, it's like everybody doesn't need that. Everybody doesn't. Everybody. I think he because like it's weird because even um Spawn is slow to me. Spawn is kind of slow to me, depending you on what variation you use. Um, nigga. Terminator. Terminator is very fucking slow. Fuck that nigga. Like he is, he is. Terminator should be faster. Terminator should be faster. Like and yeah, Terminator should be faster. And like and I already it's like I I feel like the variations that you'll get out of him is what we already have from other uh, characters. Like we got machine guns with fucking Terminator and with Spawn, and then we got a knife with Kano. It's just it's weird, but. Well, I just want. I'm just curious to see how it works. He's got a noise. He's got a noise. That's that's the next DLC character, Crocodile Dundee. That's not a noise. Hey, I, will, hey, I swear, I will. Hey, I will break the fucking game and throw it in the trash. <laughs> and then, that's not, <laughs> this is a noise. But I am excited about Rain. Rain looks pretty cool, and 
uh, Melina, uh, like who I like. I mean, I know everybody loves Melina, but you know that's she's far fetched for me. But it's good to see her again. Man, too. Fu- Man fuck Melina. Uh, this is long as she keeps annoying. the mask on. Uh, <laughs> no, she was just annoying. MKX. I found it a very annoying. So, so, I think the DLC looks pretty cool. I think my only thing with Melina is that I knew they wouldn't have the heart to completely kill her off. Oh, nah. Nah. Too many fans like her. Like, you know, they, like they he, killed like Kano off. Just I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of I'm kind of upset that he's he's killed off, but Kano's Kano's pretty good in the game. Uh, he's, not, he's one of the characters I use. Well, they've been uh, trying to kill Kano forever, so that's a that's kind of a sign of relief if you're a big like Sonya or Jax fan or whatever. They've been trying to kill Kano forever. <laughs> but also, the the world doesn't exist anymore. So don't give a fuck. Eh. <laughs> So I um, don't, I don't know. It's the way Father look. I'm not assuming anything. It, you would have thought it was like the worst DLC reaction. Is this like up there with the worst one, or if you think this is like one of the better ones? The worst DLC to come out has to be fucking Steve from Minecraft being added to Smash Brothers. <laughs> that's the that's easily the worst thing. <laughs> to happen in any game currently. It's Steve mm-hmm. being thrown on Smash Brothers. Yo, but people wanted it. There was legitimately people wanted my current Steve. You really want to call that bad? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. My, well, one, Minecraft fans. And um, there was a couple of Smash players that was like, that was asking for Minecraft Steve. That was literally asking. As a me. joke. As a joke. I'm Bruh. pretty sure it was meant as a joke. I don't think so. Nah, I, I, I want to that I, I want to say my favorite, my favorite DLC that came out that I've seen was uh was Negan for Tekken. Oh yeah, why? Have you played with Negan on motherfucking Tekken? <laughs> hey, Negan's not bad. Hey, I'm about to jump in. Yeah, you got. You about to start gambling. Man, I'm you that. The fuck? I think you got distracted. <laughs> Negan's not that bad. Second, no, nah, no, no. He's my, nah, my, my, one of my best friends. He doing a, um, he he does fantasy football. Oh, so he got excited. Oh, you should if you should pick up Dak Prescott because for some reason he's getting points even though the team fucking. Yo, let me I not get into that. Let me not let me not get into that because we lost some fucking yeah, browns. But so you're going to make money off of that credit. But, but yeah, we're going to like that. Don't get that yeah. defense. Please don't get that defense. Don't get that defense. But uh, who? <laughs> who CD Lamb? Oh, yeah. Well, oh yeah. Why hey, Negan? You better you better know his name. He's about to be a legend. Yeah, he is. He a legend. I was, I was, <laughs> in this conversation. Yeah. Nah. Hey, shout out to Dak Prescott for make for not uh signing that deal so he can get the money he deserves because he definitely deserved that money. You know what? Hey, you wild. Y'all trash. Hey, hey, you. I'm sorry. I'm having. A, he's an Eagles fan. I'm having a conversation with him. Uh, hey, I'm about to say we have um, a conversation of who team is worse. Like we're not even saying my team is going to the Super Bowl. We just like man, your team is shit too. <laughs> like, Damn. Well, technically, it's the Giants because they ain't win yet. So yeah, yeah. Giants. Sadly, yeah, they not I gonna can, win ever. I can't all y'all niggas. Y'all win that. <laughs> y'all they know. not gonna win ever. They only got Saquon Barkley. What, who's who's doing right. what there? Y'all Giants need another motherfucking it's quarterback, like big time. I don't know what I the mean, fuck is up with Dan Jones. Speaking of football, um, Tony, what y'all gonna do without a quarterback? Uh, I think this happened every year when we switched like five different quarterbacks. <laughs> Who, the Rams game? Um, I think we're gonna have, like, I think we're gonna have a rifle, uh, a rifle. Uh, we're gonna have somebody from the uh, sports team uh, be the quarterback. Yo, y'all gonna get Mark Sanchez. Again, and then, <laughs> <laughs> because for some reason, Mark Sanchez always has a job, and he's like the worst quarterback. <laughs> nah, that, ain't, 
Now nah, they may they may fuck around, bring Tony Romo out of retirement. Like, yo, come on, nah, man. man they're going to go get Vince Young, man. Vince Young is coming back, bro. Yeah, Vince Young. Yeah. Wow, well. you better off getting RG three. <laughs> RG three might actually do something. If they get RG three, I'm, I'm gonna be a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, you better. I'm be nervous a little bit. Shit. I I already divorced that white. I don't know if he divorced that white woman or not, but he out that snuggy place. No corners, RG three, because you seem to break your ankle every time you try to cut a corner. Straight, they ain't got no fucking line. I've been saying this: the, the Washington football team hasn't had an offensive line since they were Redskins. So, hey, yo. <laughs> y'all don't hey, protect. The, they don't protect it's, quarterbacks. It's two things. It's two things in the last ten years the Redskins have had have not had a winning season and an offensive line. It's so sad. <laughs> like it's so sad. Like y'all had a good quarterback, good running back, good wide receiver. Y'all had a good defense, but y'all did that. Y'all did not have a good winning season. And y'all did not have an offensive line, and y'all will never win because of that. Y'all had Alex Smith. Y'all made Alex Smith turn into Joe Theismann all over again. Like, what the Damn. fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, it was Joe Theismann 2.0. Like, come on, bro. Mark Brunel, he, y'all killed him. Jason, Jason Campbell, y'all didn't traumatize that boy. He ain't even want to play football no more. You Poor Jason. I can go Damn. on and talk. I can go on and talk about. All the dumb shit y'all did, y'all signed, y'all signed Josh Norman. That boy ain't Please, do nothing but let anybody. He let anybody catch the ball in front of him. That boy's playing flag football with pads on. <laughs> <laughs> like when it was, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna talk about, you know what I'm saying? Y'all signing the. This is a Ray. You know, I feel like this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. When y'all signed fucking Donovan McNabb. No, 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 no. That wasn't a bad deal. It was the coach because McNabb was not playing bad. I will admit McNabb was not playing bad. That coach just benched him. He did not like him. And I think it was because he was black. I'm playing a race card. That nigga. <laughs> nah, he was. Nah, that was a bad move because he was fat, slow. He was, he was still that throwing man, That man, he was not always fat. But he wasn't, man. Donovan McNabb. Even, if anybody even, know. If anybody McNabb was know, always fat. One thing about Donovan McNabb. McNabb. That that dude in you the watch middle football, of you know, Don McNabb is not a leader. He's McNabb is always fat. <laughs> he's never been a leader. He's just a, <laughs> That's a, a, damn shame. He's a good black football player that can throw the ball. That's what he was. He was not him a leader. And, him and Bobby Leftwich. It was just two fat black quarterbacks. It's just that Donovan can run. Let's but, not uh, forget about was, Jamarcus Russell. Yeah, oh, that fat that that job of the slobbing, <laughs> That slobbic slob that Stephen A. Smith <laughs> <ball. laughs> Every time you say Jamarcus Russell, I just think of Stephen A. Smith. That fat slash slutter. <laughs> yeah, oh, and Stephen A. Smith be going on him. Like, that should be sad. Like, damn, Stephen. <laughs> okay, but before we get off, um, Father, um, was this like the best or worst DLC uh, in your opinion? I don't make it done. Hello? I, I don't think I don't think we can answer that question until we actually see games. Anyway. Play. Yeah, play the game, see how everybody moves, how they fight, all of that. Yeah, I, I don't think that I don't think we can actually answer that. They they look good. Rambo looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. He he looks as good as I thought he would on the goddamn game, but I just want to see his the mechanics of how he played. You know, He's probably gonna shoot niggas. Or with, with the bow and arrow. Good. I'm gonna honestly say Terminator. You don't like Terminator? I think Terminator is the most useless one that they could put a, ever put in that game. Him yeah. and oh, Robocop? Robocop? He's, He's trash. He's trash. Oh, Robocop? Fucking go. No, Robocop <laughs> is pretty Robocop is pretty good. No, he's not. Yes, he is. I've seen I've, 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 I've seen people do do numbers with him. I don't I've care seen, about I've how seen. the nigga plays. The nigga should be in the goddamn game. Robocop I mean, is yeah, they're right. putting they're putting useless people in the game because they have they bought the rights to it so they can do it, but they, they should have waited. They, I, mean, I mean, honestly, out of out of all the DLC characters in Mortal Kombat right now, uh, my boo is still Sindel, but you know, that's just me. That leaves he's part of the damn game. <laughs> well, this, this <laughs> well, <laughs> well, on the newest one, she's a DLC character, so. That leaves the part of the game. Lord, that's what we talking about. That's what Father is talking about. The ones that don't belong in the oh. game. Okay, 
if I may throw this in, and I think this is probably one of the best uh, DLC characters, I thought the Turtles in, in Justice was like the best thing to do. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. That was very well thought out. I'm going to be honest. Let me tell you one. I'm going to tell you one that's recent that, that is like, I feel like is the best DLC character that they had. It's the Joker. I'm sorry. The Joker being on, the Joker on Mortal Kombat is amazing. Like, the, I'm still. No, nah, I agree. Of, I agree with that. I'm sorry. Like, just the way that they just, oh, my God. Like, he's a murderer. And it's, it's amazing to see it. Like, I wish you could put Batman on it. But, but you know, Batman's the big time. No, you're wrong. Man. He don't like to kill everybody. Nah, you know, yeah, Batman don't kill. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got should have put somebody like Splinter BT. Cell on there or something. Like, somebody that we want to see murder. Like, we want to see you die. I wanted to see Joker kill people and laugh about it. Like, that shit was fun. I don't want to see like I'm, I don't like who the fuck gives a fuck about Robocop. Like like nobody who plays the game right now gave a fuck. I mean, I know a couple people I, that are older, but, but I will like, say I will say Robocop does have one ill ass fatality I like. But it's just like no, nah, man. Like no. The Joker was like it. I think the Joker was a good one. I think Jason was a great one. Jason was one of my favorites ever. I'm sorry. On, um, on Everybody X. say he's low tier. I think yeah. he is amazing. Jason was amazing. Disgusting on X. He was amazing. Stabby, stabby. Like, That's all he was. He was stabby. Stabby. Jason had the best juggle game of any character. Yeah, in my I opinion. swear. On he had the best not. juggle game in the no, whole game. No, he did not. <laughs> what the not fuck in X. Talking about? <laughs> not in X. <laughs> yeah, Nigga, cut loud. Nigga, Kalao had one of the better juggles. I, Katana oh, had fuck great him. juggles. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Yo, don't <laughs> loud gang. Yeah, loud Katana gang. did, though. Bad. On X, Katana really did, though. I'm not even going to stunt. Okay. Don't yeah. Katana could out. juggle your ass on a leg. Yeah, you talking is, about that? This joke is nasty. I mean, no, the, the person with the best juggles in MK11 is probably, uh, fuck, what's his name? Probably Liu Kang. I agree with that. Luke, Luke Kang's got a good juggle game. Noob Cybot does too. Um, if, you can, if you can hit people with him. Yeah, if you can hit somebody with him, yeah. Fujin. Yeah. Fujin, Fujin, Fujin kind of like, he, I like his juggle. Fujin, Fujin's Fujin. a pain in the ass. <laughs> that nigga got a dildo hitbox. <laughs> Wait, what? Fujin got a dildo hitbox. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you don't see when he be flowing you in the air and it's just up and down. Is this a vertical ass hitbox? I call it the dildo hitbox because it's big. You might need to rephrase that, but yeah, it's a dildo hitbox. <laughs> he about to cuss out that office a lot. Oh, y'all. Oh, oh someone's actually watching the football game. I'm saying yeah. playing Pokemon. I I want to watch it off the football to see game. Tom Brady in uh, Florida. <laughs> Tom, yeah, Tom Brady in Florida. Um, what else? I think Cloud and uh fucking Smash Smash Four. But that's just I'm because I'm Final I'm a Final Fantasy fan. It's not that I don't disagree. I think Cloud is cool. I think some characters could have been so much better. That's my only thing. You could have picked any other Final Fantasy representative to me. Cloud, Cloud is good enough. Cloud, but then again, I'm biased. So that's a popular. biased thing. Final Fantasy VII is the most popular game in the Final Fantasy continuum. So, of course, they ran with Cloud. In America. I think... Um, yeah. Whichever one has Cecil in it, I think Cecil is probably one of the more. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. And then it's still, I think Terra from Final Fantasy uh, VI. It's still not as popular. As, well, well, in Japan, I think VI is the most popular in Japan. Yeah. See, I'm so glad I'm not on. I'm not on this podcast with people that would mention Travis Scott on Fortnite. Like, like that was good. <laughs> You know, I just I just thought I'd just take a shot at Fortnite since we're talking about great video games. You know, I just you know, I just go ahead and shoot at Fortnite from over here. So yeah. I stray away from Fortnite as possible. Like they put the Avengers on fucking Fortnite and you really can't do much with them. Like, they put Travis Scott on Fortnite. Why? I liked it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's because you was high when you was 
You was high when you was watching that shit. So? Hey. Remember when they, 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 have when they, play. A, they have them as a character on the game. I have the costume, too. Wait, I don't. Never mind. I'll lie. Oh, nah. Y'all remember when they put um, Dave Batista in Gears of War? Oh, you don't remember playing that game. You got it, dog. I remember that. I still I haven't played Gears of War since, but <laughs> I thought that was a good. I thought that was a good addition. He yeah, had a concert and shit. That shit was weird as fuck, but that shit was tight. It's, it's like tight, but weird. it was tight and weird at the same time. It was like yeah. that's creative shit. Like, but this thing. game is sucks. Like I don't want to watch this shit because it's Fortnite. But damn, that was tight. Like. <laughs> I'm still waiting for John Cena to be in Mortal Kombat. I, hey, I, yo, I, I know it's going to happen. Hey, I swear to God. I know it's going to happen. I will break the game. It's out of John Cena and the Undertaker. Somebody's going to be. I'm telling you. John Cena and the Undertaker is going to be in Mortal Kombat. One of these games. Hey, yeah. I would love to see the Undertaker on, on Mortal Kombat. That makes more sense. But Cena, no. no. Because, uh, I don't know if anybody ever played that mobile game, but they had some good designs for him. And I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena could be in there. Him or the Undertaker. Or Kane. No. Uh, there you go. Just play WWF WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. You don't slam Brady, bro. Yeah. Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels and Undertaker in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that midway game. I yeah, remember the that's midway a, game. That was a great game. I don't know why. I was, a doink, I was a <laughs> doink the cloud user. I was definitely Doink the Clown. You was Doink the Clown? <laughs> yeah, I was Doink the Clown. I just found him funny. I was I was shoe boots before I shoe boots, father. I'm not going to lie to you. You said Doink the Clown, though. <laughs> Yo, stop sleeping on Doink the Clown, all right? Doink the Clown was mad in that WrestleMania game. <laughs> him, and, him, and, him and Vader, because it was Vader time. Nigga, <laughs> I was a Shawn Michaels man. I, I hit niggas with the baseball bat. Oh, all oh, these years. Him and Razor Ramon. There's only one Ramon. person that I would. No one would see me when I was Razor Ramon. Ramon. That Razor Ramon was good. When it comes to Tom Brady, and that's Patrick Mahomes. I swear, he is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> he's going. He's going. Like, yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, all right. Now that we <laughs> probably done gone off topic like plenty of times. Um. Let's talk about this uh, vice presidential debate that just happened yesterday. Um, I, yesterday, and with the unbiased opinion, I honestly, I thought it was a tie. But I would like y'all's opinion on which I thought about the vice presidential debate if y'all watched it. I'm not going to let this fly past. Like, I didn't know <laughs> what was going on. <laughs> Okay, I mean, yes. Okay. The highlight of the whole thing was the fly. Honestly, yeah. I just, I, I don't, I don't. That's I don't know, terrible. I don't know what to believe at this point. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on because I just feel like it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in right now, no homo. Yo, you know what was my favorite song back in 2008? What? Yeah. We fly high. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Boy. Oh my god. Shoot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But um y'all really that was the that was the highlight for y'all, the um whole the flower on the head. I mean, what else do you remember about the debate? Genuine question. No one can no one cares anymore. That's the that's I the think, hilarious part it, of all is I feel like no one cares anymore when it comes to I, when it comes to this election. And I don't I blame don't anyone. Care, no, nah. nah, I, I I disagree. There was people that was really caring. Nah, um, I watched. Uh, Tony, what you think? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I I think when he got saying like uh, when he was saying that there's no racial bias from police officers to the black community, I was just like bullshit, Earl. But that's the time when the uh, fly landed on his head. So I know he was full of shit. Yeah, that was definitely. I don't know. I probably probably because I paid attention because I think the way I was looking at it, it was from a point where 
Kamala Harris wasn't battling Mike Pence. I felt like her whole job was to convince the undecided to vote for, you know, to vote Democrat. Because I believe the un, um 6% of America is undecided or who they vote for. And that's uh, actually a lot if you really kind of look at it. So I feel like with Mike Pence, he just did what he was supposed to do because um, Republicans are going to vote for them no matter what. I think we all know that. But it's obviously, as we've had conversations, um, there's people that don't um, don't want to vote for either people or probably want to hold their votes. And, like, we done gone through this many a times of, you know, if voting is important or not or should you hold your vote or not. So I feel like the whole, just the whole thing, at least from the Democrats, they're fighting an uphill battle of should um, convincing the people that's not that are undecided or probably not going to vote, try to convince them to vote. At least being with Donald Trump is the better option. You know, the whole lesser two evil things that a lot of people like are iffy against. So I feel like as far as Kamala Harris, I think she did a okay job, but I don't think she did anything to sway the undecided voters. And I feel like that's where a lot of people are missing that. Because I... I'm I'm I am looking at from an unbiased view and obviously I don't support Trump or Mike Pence, but I feel like like Mike Pence, he played his Republican role to a T. But it's except you know, even with the fly on his fucking head. But with uh Kamala Harris, I feel like if she had the chance to convince, you know, people to vote for a Democrat, I don't think she pulled it off. If at least that's in my opinion. And um <laughs> I I'm not gonna like I don't think People was expecting it to be a shit show like oh, Joe Biden and Trump was because Trump is not a politician, so of course he's not gonna do politician shit. But um, I for it it was okay. I'm not even gonna say anything. It's okay. That's why I think it was a draw because both of them didn't answer questions, and I feel like um, if they answer one of the questions, it probably would persuade the undecided, but none of them did either. So that's why I'm calling it a draw. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel the same. I feel like it was a lot of runaround when it came to uh No no, it was definitely a lot of runaround. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was definitely a lot of, that's, that's, a lot of that's, bullshit that's, too. What was going on the entire time. It was just like nobody wants to answer a question. Like everybody wants to point the finger at something else or like it's just it's just stupid. Like it just uh, I just couldn't deal with it. Uh, else. I just, I was yeah, really and- I was really rooting for Kamala. But it's just like, I, what, what more? Like, come on, man! Like, come on, you gotta say something! Like, it's just like, come on, please! Like, everybody's afraid to attack the question. Like, nobody knows the answer to what the fuck is in there. Like, come on! And also, and this is not really from the presidential point, but it's more or less how the debates are run. Because, um, because I was watching twice, and the lady said they don't know the questions, but you know. They have like a uh, time limit to talk about it. I feel like you should prep them with questions. And this is what I comparing this to battle rap because when you're at least when the two people are battle rapping, you know you have three minutes to get your shit off. All right. And you know, sometimes they go over, but most of the times, like the battle rappers stay in the time limit. And the way they, I feel like the debate was held, it was really sloppy. And like, because every time when, and this is from both sides, where Kamala or Mike Pence was trying to get their words out. They couldn't get it out in a two minute, three minute interview. In- interview, interval, excuse me, interval. And like sometimes they'll talk over it and then like they was like, your time's up and they never point. So I felt like either we need to change the way to debate topics because these are real life things like jobs and coronavirus and uh, what are you thinking about the justice for Breonna Taylor and all that other stuff. These are important topics that people should want to know about. And you can't just be cutting them off. So I always had the problem with the way debate time. And this is why I said for this, like, battle rap, then that fucking debate. <laughs> but other than, yeah, other than that, I feel like they need to fix the way, like, debates are done. Because for important topics, like some of the things that was going around, you really need to just step, uh, put your foot down on it. And you need to let people know how you really feel about that. 
Um, any other, uh, any last words before we move on to our next topic? Man, black again, black people were right. Both of these candidates ain't shit. <laughs> uh, say that again. I said black people were were right again. Both of these candidates ain't shit. Nobody wants <laughs> to listen to us. Nobody. Like nobody wants to listen to us. Everybody wants to think we're being ignorant. And we just want a reason to not do or not. Like, come on, man. We we have the intuition because we know what we to deal. We we we've been the ones dealing with the problems, so we know how. Like, like more than anybody. Open your eyes, please. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, while I'm staying on this whole presidential shit, do y'all think Trump got COVID? <laughs> <laughs> there, like, cause there's some people don't think that he got COVID. He's trying to um weed out of not bat, um not um debate with Joe Biden because of how last because our last week's debate went. So there's people that don't think he got COVID. I think he has COVID, but I just think he's being real irresponsible for doing the shit he's doing. Yeah, I agree with that. I think I, I don't think he's gonna lie about having COVID. I would hope not. I, I have a little bit of faith in him. To not lie about that, so you know, like I said, I just think yeah, I just think I'm it was sorry. it was just a. I'm sorry. After that, nigga said, "We have so many cases because we do so much testing." I lost all faith in that nigga. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That okay. nigga said we have so many cases because we do so much testing. If we didn't do so much testing, we wouldn't have so many cases. What? You know yes. what? He said this in a town hall. I, I, he, it's just like, yeah, I, I remember. I'm just like, what? Like, just hearing it out loud makes me mad. Like, <laughs> this is yeah, our president. You're really, you're you're really that dense. Like, wow. Like, you are a walking, talking Instagram post. Like, it's sad. Like, again, the I've said this before and I'll say it again. The living embodiment of everything that's wrong with America. Donald Trump. Hey man, he might do eight. I just want to just let y'all know hey. the probability of doing eight. Even though he's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to this country, he has a probability of doing don't, eight. Don't don't you don't you put that evil on us, Ricky Bobby? Nigga. <laughs> it's the truth. It's don't nigga, you put that evil on us, Ricky Bobby. Look, I love fucking Ricky Bobby. I fucking love that. Come on, think about it. The dumbest motherfucker won twice. I just look. I just, I just want to say, I just want to say this. He has done everything that you shouldn't do, and it got him president. Yes, and he's still doing everything you shouldn't do. So I think, yeah, I think, and niggas is still riding for Trump. So like, this, this is ridiculous. Like <laughs> obviously. Obviously, we're all looking at it like he's not presidential candidate, but he's here. Right. We well, need to. We need to the, 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 he was trying to say that uh, Kamala Harris was a monster and a communist. I don't. Yeah. Um, I don't know. To some black people, some black because she didn't cost very a lot of black men. So. <laughs> You are I'm not gonna say he. I shared a thing in our group chat earlier. It was a uh, what was it a mosaic piece or whatever of Kamala Harris, but it was done with all the faces of all the people she locked up. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. Oh, then somebody's talented because that shit was fire. <laughs> I hate to say it, <laughs> but, um, but it's just. Something to think about. But I just, I don't know. Like him having, I think he has COVID. And I think he's like, even though he has some of the medical things that not regular people can get, because not even regular people get ventilation. Like it's obvious, like when I was watching him take off his mask and shit, the nigga was having trouble breathing. Like you can literally see him having trouble breathing. But I think it still delivers a wrong message because he has like, he has the money and the means to like get treated better than most average people that you know had COVID. So it's kind of like 
to me, it was delivering the wrong message. Like, like at least with Joe Biden, it was just like, look, if he has COVID, I'm not election. <laughs> He's like, I'm not debating with him. We'll do it virtually, but I'm not debating with him. And all that other stuff, which I hear he's like he's not coming if they're not uh, doing it in in. So it's like you know you have COVID. You trying to get everybody else with COVID is just like you, you he's doing everything wrong, and yet people still don't see the problem. I don't know. Any last words on this before we move on to our next topic? Is there really anything else to say? I can't hear you. He said, there's anything else to say. Um, I no. agree with No, not really. He got, he has COVID-19. Stay away from us. Get well soon. That's all I can say. I can't uh, Okay. Uh, and also, our next, next topic. Um... How do y'all feel about 21 Savage's new album, Savage Mode? Fire. Who wants to start? Fire. 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 Metro Boomin. Hey, oh my God. Metro is like genius. Like this, I, it was definitely worth the wait. It was worth all the time and preparation. It was worth him getting locked up and almost deported back home. Like is is Saint Savage of Twenty First is his name, <laughs> Sir Savage the Twenty First. Sir Savage of Twenty First is his name, man. <laughs> That's his name now, man. Shawty is is he is. Oh man, that that shit is crazy, man. That shit. Is, oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I actually get. Yeah. I'm gonna agree with y'all. I actually thought I, I actually thought uh, the album was fire. Um, I did a review on it that I'm working on right now, and I might put it up out of. <laughs> Tomorrow or Saturday, but I yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the album. I think both of these uh I know Charlemagne saying these are the best two duos in uh rap right now. I might have to agree with you. Uh but <laughs> I think what surprised me in this album is how good the instrumentals are. I think this is probably some of Metro Boomer's best work, and he made Father Stretch My Hands. And Father <laughs> and Father Stretch My Hands is really good. So I this is this is probably like the best instrumentals I've heard from him in a minute. So I don't know. Father, what you think? Man. Okay, first of all, I am so glad I waited to hear that album until I got me a J. Cause when I heard that shit, bro, I almost ascended to heaven. There was two songs that almost made me fucking just drop out of earth. The first one was Many Men. That song right there, bro. Oh my god! And then the second song was "No Op Left Behind," and that was some of the most like cleanest rapping I've ever heard Twenty One ever do. And this nigga had running on there. He was rapping real clean on sliding, like. But uh, "No Op Left Behind," he was spitting. Hey, shout out to Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Let me start off by saying that, man. Shout out to the GOAT, Morgan Freeman. Shout out to Morgan Freeman, y'all. For explaining what a snitch and a rat was. Like, it was, it was, the, the, it was a, a masterpiece for the, for the coast. Like, that was, yeah. Oh, my God. That's probably, I thought my money all did say that's the best album came out in 2020. Well, that was gonna be my next. Um, that was gonna be my next question. Uh, what do y'all think is the best album that came out in twenty twenty? I cannot answer that question. <laughs> we're still, you we're still that... working our way through twenty twenty, so I don't know. So oh, far, it's not to, the way so I mean, far, we only got what three months left. It's October, November, December. I can like, and like, um, I usually I don't know somebody could throw throw something. Throw something up in the um November and drop a gem, dog. Man, look, you need time to make a gem. Clearly, Twenty One Savage has made that clear. Like, you All need right. to take your time and make it the right way. And he came out with the best album he's ever come out with, and that's 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 very difficult to say because he's come out with some good shit. But it's like this is this this is 
this is the album that's going to put him in a different category. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is hard because I think this is might make uh this album might make my top five albums. I know I'm, I usually have a top ten list every year, so I gotta like figure out where it puts it because I know this one was good. I know Royce the Five Nine had a fire album. Uh, I actually Logic is really good, and I think Logic might be out it. I've also said August Alcina had a good album. Tiana Taylor probably had the best R and B album. Yeah, I and can Tiana agree with that. Taylor, I can agree. Tiana Taylor's joint fire. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. what's that man Conway? I think Conway or something like that. I heard mm-hmm. his album's fire. It's just a. It's like a bunch of good albums that came out. I think, um, actually, I think Usher had an album that came out this year. But like, just last night, um, Tony, which yeah. if you would have um, had Drake, an album, had Drake still did. didn't come out this year, did it? Nah, Drake didn't come out. Did he? Yeah. Drake, Drake did some features, but out there, yeah, he did. Hearing of him dropping, love. he did. There's not because it had um because Deep Pockets is like one of my favorite songs that came out this year by Drake. But he doesn't call it an album. He calls it some other shit. Drake. <laughs> uh, Who had the worst album? <laughs> I have not um, really been listening to albums like that, honestly. But uh, I'm going to just say Lil Yachty. <laughs> six now. Oh, yeah, that album was trash. It was catchy. You know what's weird? That album was catchy, but it was really bad. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I was I was curious. I was going to listen to it. But I was like, nah, this is this is not it. <laughs> Damn. Summertime shootout three. Let's not forget about that one. Oh, Dark Lane Demo Taste. That was the Drake album that was came out this year. Damn, I forgot about that shit. I know Eminem dropped that album too. Yeah, um, music to be murdered by, which was actually it wasn't his best, but it was good. Yeah, I, I, actually, I, I think it was better than um the album he did before that. I personally be playing what Kamikaze. Yeah, I think it was better than Kamikaze. I didn't like Kamikaze. See, a lot of people was iffy on Kamikaze, but you know, I thought Kamikaze was cool. But you know, a lot of people. He had that song with Juice World Godzilla where he was like, that's probably the fastest he's ever rapped. Mm-hmm. But, um, I don't know. This, like, I'm a, like I said, I'm gonna hold off my opinion because there's, like, one album that I'm looking forward to. And there's, like, these cats out in Long Island. They're called Dunbar. And, like, I've liked this shit before back then. Um, like, um, they had this song called Chopsticks that I fuck with. It's just, that shit go hard. But uh, other than that, um, right now, if I were to give it to anybody, and that's just all for, like, how many times have I gone back to it? And it's surprising to say, I think Logic might have album of the year for me. Logic? <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, I, like the, no, I, think, I think the album's phenomenal, too. I was just wanting clarification. Yeah. Diane Kendrick himself might have <laughs> No, but I also got to put in August Alcina because that album was good. That album, oh, man, that album. And that has a lot of fucking songs. And yeah, yeah, when, no, but it was really good. Yeah, I couldn't skip a fucking song. And, I I'm, and I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling to get through Bryson Tiller's album. <laughs> yeah, it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, um, I just think he need to look right all the time because when he looks left he's not having a good album but when he looks right in his album <laughs> cover, that's- the fuck first of all you ain't shit second of I'm, all I'm just saying trap so he's looking to his right and that was a good album but anniversary he's looking to his left not that good I'm just saying yeah it was just there's a lot of like I guess the only Actually, song I liked on that project was like Timeless Interlude, but that was about it. All the other songs, some of the songs were cool, but like that was it. And um, I don't know. I like I've also like Kate Trinata, but Kate Trinata came out is like December 2019. But my cutoff is like December because I feel like 
anything December after, I just might as well just throw it in the 2020. But um, Kate Tanada had an album called Bubba, and I fucks with that heavy. So that one's really good. But there's a lot of like there's a lot of good music out there. That and I would say there was one bright spot about 2020. And damn, I kind of forgot about making the album, um, making the Stallions album. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Was I was okay. I was waiting for that diss track. I was waiting for the diss track. I don't think it's happening. Speaking of, I know you think you you was a big fan of Chicks Tape, wasn't you? Um, um, I wasn't a big I wasn't a big fan of Chicks Tape. It's just my favorite song was from Chicks Tape. Full fucking slow down. The the fucking what he did with that song was so good. And it makes me guilty that I love that song so much, but I can't throw it away. The song is too good. Look, man. Look, look, man. I understand because I just watched Boozy defend. I just watched Boozy said that nobody is touching R. Kelly in the verses. (laughs) R. Kelly been touching touching everybody else. The fuck. I mean, I mean, but uh, all talk aside, he's not wrong. I don't. I mean, nah. yeah, you right. I think Stevie right. Wonder can get him. I'm just saying. I just think Stevie Wonder can get him. I mean, Stevie that, that's Stevie Wonder. Wonder though. That's Stevie Wonder though. That's yes, Stevie Wonder or Michael Jackson. Get, no, but you you gotta get a nigga from a whole nother generation to to, to get. Are him. y'all really about to do this today? What a verse! I think the only I think the only motherfucker who. Would even stand a remote chance against Kells in a damn versus battle. I gotta give that to Usher. What for Michael Jackson? I, no, I'm talking about against R. Kelly. I gotta give oh. that to Usher. Chris Michael Brown. Jackson, the Trace only if, if Michael Trace Jackson Song. got rid the soul, the only Chris Brown, Chris Brown, you are tripping. I'm still going Trey Song. Actually, you know what? You know what? No, Ooh. Chris Brown. I, didn't, Chris Trey, Brown I, Chris I think Brown Trey, Trey would have been Trey would have been good. Trey would have been good. I didn't think about Breezy. And you know what? Chris Brown might Chris Brown Chris, might give him a right too. I don't think about Chris it because Chris, Chris, Chris Brown, Brown got be, some heat. Chris Brown might be the greatest. Since Michael Jackson, he might be the greatest R and B singer. I'm not gonna say he's the greatest pop singer because Michael Jackson didn't do R and B, but as far as R and B, he might be the greatest. Like, look how many hits, albums got I me, mean, like he doesn't miss. Like name a you can't name a bad Chris Brown album nor song. Like it's hard to find it. Yeah, I could say the same thing about Usher, but I mean Usher and um and R. Kelly. But look at look at R. Kelly. How, uh, actually, I will cut you off right there. R. R. Kelly, in my opinion, had one bad album. Like come on, Chris and that Brown. was um the buffet. I Chris, didn't like Chris the buffet. Brown. Chris yeah, Brown, I, I agree with that. Buffet kind of sucked, man. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, Tony, what you think? You the R. Kelly, you the R. Kelly fan? What you think about? Is what? anybody touching R. Kelly in versus? <laughs> no. Hell no. Nobody. 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 Chris Brown, man. No, I'm... not Chris Brown. <laughs> yeah, Chris Brown. Man. Not Chris Brown. Yeah. Chris Brown may come close. He may be. I'll, he may be like I'll a say. Small. No, you pick it just no, you don't pick R. Kelly over Mike. You're picking you're you pick R. Kelly be, over Mike. He, he may be a small protege compared to Chris Brown, R. Kelly, and Michael Jackson. Like, oh first of all, Michael Jackson's a whole other man. Whole leave, other leave, thing. Leave, you gotta leave goats where they belong at. Right. Yeah. The only, no, the only no, person no, 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 I think can no, no, see Michael this. Jackson is. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say this. Cause one thing that and I'm um, uh, all things aside, like court shit and all this, the whole him pissing on people, all that aside, R. Kelly has made classics. So yeah, yeah. you can put him with Michael Jackson, in my you, opinion. You, you, you nah. literally got to think. You got to literally think. R. Kelly got more love songs than Chris Brown. Chris Brown, he got he got some songs, but a lot of the jumps to be rapping. Chris I couldn't even do no rapping. Has, Chris Brown, I can't, got, so, uh, like, I can't got tracks when he rapped too. Got so many. Yeah, but he ain't rapping like Chris Brown. Like he got two. Chris Brown has so 
Chris Brown does not miss. He does not make a But bad the thing play. I was going to say, the thing I was going to say, and this is why I'm, this is the main reason I'm agreeing with you when it comes to Chris Brown above everyone else we named as a possible versus opponent for R. Kelly if it were to happen by some miracle is this. You got to think who has the arsenal to match Kells. True. You got to think of how True. extensive his list of hits goes and who comes anywhere near close to matching him. That's why I originally said Usher. But now when you mention Chris Brown, you know what? Chris Brown might be able to match him. He got enough. He got a lot. He has a lot of shit. Like he has, he has more than he has more than, he has more than Trey. Like Chris Brown's got more shit than Trey. Like come on. Oh, no, and, I, and I look and I love Trey Songs to death. Time. Yeah, but they Trey Songs don't drop time. Trey Songs don't drop music as as Often is as consistently as Chris Brown does. Yes, he does. What are you talking no, about? What was, no, the yes, he... what was the no, last time Trey dropped something? What was the last time Trey dropped something? I think he dropped something in 2019. I might have to look it up. Did he, did he do anything this year? Chris, not Chris a lot of Brown has had this year. Album out. Chris Brown has not had an album out. Not, not every this year, year, every Chris other Brown. year. Not a lot of people Trey, do stuff this year. It's like I, I know, but like, and then you just you just made my point. You just made my point. Listen, Trey songs you you'll be Chris lucky. Chris Brown if you didn't get... drop nothing this year. What? So what you, you saying? Right, you right, you right, you <laughs> but then, <laughs> but then, shit. Where's Trey's last joint? Was what the year before last? Like that, he, dropped the, he dropped. He dropped the album last year, but it kind of flopped. But I mean, what 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 people you know like yo? You want to listen to the new uh, Trey songs, Ob song, or the Chris Brown? Chris, Chris Brown. Brown shit plays more than anything than Trey song. I think. Remember we, uh, Chris I think, Rock, Chris Rock, I, think I, I think people are disrespecting Trey songs right now because Trey no, songs had. Not. We just saying. Yo, saying. Trey song had hits. He had radio hits. He had strip club the hits. Problem. Yo, okay. People disrespect he, Trey songs, man. Okay, when it comes to when it comes to Trey, like I said before, he don't hit you with with music as often as Chris Brown does. Yeah, he really Fuck don't. And not to mention, and we're really not even mentioning we're not even mentioning features, right? <laughs> and plus, if if I'm gonna be all the way real, Trey peaked with uh, what album was that? Ready? That was his peak. You are fucking high. You're to me, that was his peak. You to are me, that was, fucking to high. To me, that was Trey's Oh, my God. Your, your music opinion is just as bad as your wrestling opinion. You are fucking Kiss high. My ass. Wow. <laughs> to me, that was his peak. His, his other I shit after that has been good, but it wasn't it. as good. Nigga, what? Trey is like one of the best albums I done heard in the 2010s. What? what? Trigger Which? is one of the... I put Trigger everything on it. Trigger's one of the best albums I heard. Trigger was amazing. I think Ready was better, though. No, no it's not. Trigger is a no, fucking classic. Nigga. I, that, <laughs> that nigga had Mr. Steal Your Girl fucking... Uh, oh, he had some cake. Born. That nigga had... Born. Um, Born. Yeah. Ooh, all nah, nah. Yeah. All in the same album. Smartphones. You you ain't shit. Oh, my, favorite, my, my favorite track from that album is All We Do. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was my shit. And all we do is fuck, ready. drink, and sleep. That's my shit. You are, tri- Dion, you are fucking hot. And Tremaine was good, too. I'm not even tr- talking about Tremaine, because Tremaine was a banger, too. But you are fucking hot. Trace all got classic. I still think Ready was his, was his best one. Oh okay, you want to let me see. Um, the best say, song already uh, is L- it might be what LOL, LOL smiley, face? smiley face. He had that say, ah, uh, your side of the bed, motherfucking neighbors know my name. Na- yes, neighbors know my name. Does he do yeah, it? Trigger's Come on, nigga. What Trigger is a better album? Trigger is a better yeah. album. Trigger's a way better album. Trigger oh, is a way better album. Maybe I'm maybe I'm biased because of the amount of pussy I got off of, off already. Of I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> nah, his mixtape is where I got most of mine. Uh where, which one has scratching me up on it? That's ready. 
No, he has a remix to scratching me up. No, no, nah, that was on his um, that was on his bonus that's piece. A mixtape. Like, that's a mixtape. It, song. Yeah, I can't. No, he put scratching me up already. Also, no, I'm saying, but it was on anticipation before the and, and yeah. the yeah. remix to scratching me up. He had there was a part two to scratching me up. Um, what was the name of the mixtape he dropped in like 2017 or 18? I was saying anticipation. Was that yes, it was anticipation. Yeah, because that's the one where he dropped the remix to scratching me up. That's not a remix. It's continuation. Continuation part two, same thing. Yeah, <laughs> anticipation, but I my got girl's a straight sauce man, so she just hopped in the conversation over here on my side. <laughs> I have it on my phone. Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask your opinion on this. Out of all the Trey Sauce album, what do you think is his best album, baby? And I'm asking a woman this. So his best. His absolute best album. I, I think, I personally, I think his best was Ready. If you don't count the mixtapes. Not counting the mixtapes. Y'all can hear her, right? I yeah. can hear her. Okay. Which one of y'all? Matter, matter of fact, I'll leave it. You know what? No, I'll be generous. Inclu- including no, mixtapes included. Not, his best work. Okay, okay. So your okay, personal. All right, all right. Like you do kind of got to put the mixtapes in a separate category. Yeah, because anticipation was fire too. Like I said, his best album, in my opinion, is a, and it's, funny, oh, yeah. it's still ready. Even even with oh, even with everything he released really after that, and I love most of his stuff. Oh, it's trigger! <laughs> it's trigger! I'm telling you, I invented sex. Yeah. That's another one off ready. <laughs> y'all are singing all the ready songs. Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all proving my point. Get the fuck out of here. I just oh, like saying which one of y'all's gonna home with Trigger. Just like I like singing Mr. Steal Your Girl. My top 25 Trey Song Mr. Okay. most would be from off of yeah, fucking Bottoms Up. That's um Passion, Pleasure, and Pain. Let's see. Artist. This is what I'm telling y'all. Trey, like, okay, Trey Song had fucking Classics and passion and passion, pain, and pleasure is a good album, too. Yes, Trey Songs doesn't have a bad album. Trey Songs does not have a bad album. I think, um, out of his absolute best, I think he peaked with Ready. That was his nah. I think chapter five was mediocre, but other than that, like, he he don't he don't he don't he don't miss chapter, chapter five was I. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not better than his other albums. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, so let me ask you best, like this. Who best is- track, I think, out of Chapter 5. I got to go with Hail Mary with um Lil Wayne and Jeezy. I, I will say that, too. So let me ask you like this. Who y'all think will win in a versus between The Dream or Neo? Neo. Oh, Neo. Neo. That's you a fucking high. Right? You a fucking versus high. between Dream and Neo. 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 I'm giving that to Neo. I'm giving that one to Neo. Between Dream and Neo, I'm giving that to Neo. I'm giving that to Dream. Wow, fucking high. Give it up. Dream ain't got the arsenal to fuck with Neo. Next. The Dream. Dream ain't got the arsenal to fuck with Neo. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Dream ain't got the arsenal to fuck with Neo. What? Dream ain't got the arsenal to mess with Neo. You are. Fuck it, high. Dream, I, I don't <laughs> say what you want. I'm, I'm not saying I'm the it's going to be a coach Neo. Line, but it's going to be Neo. Neo's going to win. I'm sorry, Neo, hands down, wins. Nah, I'm not going to win. All right, let me. Okay, let me. Let's try this. Favorite track from Dream, go. Ooh, there's no minute. Damn, that's Favorite song from Dream, go. Hey, yo, shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Look, man, everything the Dream did, Reaction yes. Band had a fucking go go version of it. We not to, we ain't compared. <laughs> Shout out to Reaction Band. <laughs> that's still my man. Fun. Walking on the moon. <laughs> Oh, For me, my, my joint, I like I like that track he did with Lil John. Let me see the booty. Uh, Wish you were mine, and that was off his mixtape shit. Wish you were mine is fucking fire. I love your girl was good too, but then oh my, favorite. okay, but li- okay now 
Favorite tracks from Neo. Are you serious? Favorite favorite track from Neo. And for me, it's a tie between three. Well, you mad. So Love versus say, yeah, say. Love versus Money is a fucking classic. Oh, Love versus Money is a classic. No, damn, I gotta do it. Yeah, but uh, we talk about Neo oh, now. Favorites from Neo. Favorites from Neo. Favorites from Neo. I'm think I'm thinking because because for me, my I'm gonna name three. My favorite Neo songs. I'm gonna name three. So sick, single, and beautiful monster. She got her own. That's I forgot about that song. Yeah, she got her own good. Um, that one was dope. Go on, girl. I like go on. Girl. I like that one. From that um, album, oh man, was it? Honestly, do you? Do you? Yes, that one. Oh no, say it. Say it. Say it is say it is fire. I, I that song like twice. Like I'm sorry. You ain't. Oh, say it, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh man. Like, yeah. Like, if you ain't, if you I feel like if you ain't bust out some pussy to say it, you ain't a real nigga. Say. If you ain't bust out some pussy to say it, you ain't, you ain't a real nigga. And no, my girl no, just no, high five no, me. No, if you ain't a real nigga, if you ain't fuck your girl to Neo, in front of a mirror, bust the mirror. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby. You telling our business, but so thank you, baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that last statement. <laughs> yep. Playing, playing, me 